Is it actually worth it to buy Pokemon packs with the intent of pulling high value chase cards? Or should you just buy the singles? That's what I wanna talk about today, guys. Uh, over the past six months with this channel, I have ripped right around 275 packs of Pokemon cards, and that ranges from Japanese, English, German, booster boxes, booster packs, blisters, tins, you name it, I've opened it. Uh, and I pulled some data over all those packs, 275 packs. I averaged the cost of those at around $4.50 a pack. I think that's a pretty normal price of what you can expect to pay today. Uh, so that equals $1,238 spent over the last several months opening packs. And in those 275 packs, I pulled seven alternate arts or special illustration rares. That's it, seven of them. That's about a 2.5% chance of pulling one of these highly coveted cards. And then I also pulled six gold cards. Just over a 2% chance of pulling one of these. Now, of these cards, some of them are actually not really worth that much money. Like this power tablet here is only worth a few dollars. So I also wanted to talk about, you know, like where is the value? What, you know, quote unquote chase cards have I pulled over the past six months or so? And for that, I think I really pulled three chase cards. And now a chase card is whatever you want it to be. Uh, it's just a card that you yourself are trying to chase. Uh, here's some great cards that I pulled that I wouldn't necessarily consider trace cards or, or that have super crazy value but are awesome nonetheless. Obviously, I pulled dozens of ARs and, and you know, EX cards and all of that. Uh, but the true chase cards, I would say, would be these three right here. The Iono SIR, the Mewtwo V-Star alternate art, and then this Arceus V-Star uh, full art gold card. All three of these cards are worth over $50 US in value raw. I think the Iono is worth close to 80. Uh, so these are the cards I consider chase cards, just hitting at least that $50 uh, value in the US. Now, three chase cards out of 275 total packs. Uh, that's about a 1% chance of pulling one of these cards. So that's one in every 92 packs that I opened. I pulled a quote unquote chase card. That means using the math we had earlier, I spent about $412 to get each one of these cards. Uh, I mean, that's crazy, right? None of these cards, even in graded in a 10, uh, would be worth anywhere near $412. So if you're really after kind of these highly sought after chase cards like this Iono here, uh, it's definitely better to just buy the single. And I myself, I buy singles all the time. I just bought uh, this Cynthia's Ambition SAR while I was in Tokyo. Uh, I bought it for about 40 US dollars. Uh, it's a beautiful card and I think V-Star Universe is going for like almost 80 to $100 for a booster box right now, so very hard to get. Uh, and then I also bought this Jesse and James Full Art Trainer card. I paid about $10 for it. I think the packs it come out comes out of are going for something like 20 bucks a pack right now, so a big no-brainer. So in conclusion, you know, with these low pull rates, should you stop opening packs? Absolutely not. I love opening packs. I open them here every day on the channel. Uh, if that's something you enjoy, I highly recommend doing it still, but just, you know, set your expectations uh, well, right? Uh, open the packs for the fun of opening the packs and whatever you get, you know, just enjoy it. And maybe you pull one of these crazy cards, uh, but most likely you're not going to. So if you really want one of these cards or, or any chase card for that matter, it's probably just more cost efficient to buy the single unless you get really, really lucky. I actually think my 1% pull rate on these is probably higher than average. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to share all that data with you guys today. If you like this type of content, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, thanks. See you later.